Iran and the United States have had a troubled relationship uh, for the past 70 years, starting in 1954 when the CIA and the British uh, Secret Intelligence Service uh, conspired to overthrow the government of Iran. The government of Iran at that time was seeking higher royalties from the Anglo-Iranian oil company, um, and the British didn't want to pay that. They were broke after World War II, and they wanted to keep all the money for themselves. So the CIA and the, and the British overthrew Iran and um, put the Shah of Iran on the throne, restoring a monarchy, replacing the democratic uh, government. The Shah ruled for 25 years, from 1954 to 1979, when he was overthrown by uh, a revolution led by Ayatollah Khomeini. He was embittered by the CIA coup and proclaimed America the great Satan. Uh, when he took power, uh, Iranian students held 52 hostages for 444 days, contributing to the defeat of President Jimmy Carter and creating a lasting enmity between the two countries. In the 1980s, the Iranians proceeded to declare war on the CIA in Lebanon, um, bombing CIA stations in uh, Lebanon twice, uh, capturing a CIA station chief there and torturing him. Um, the Iranians also bombed the Marine Corps barracks uh, when the Marines were occupying uh, Lebanon in 1983, killing 242 Americans. And so these very bitter feelings persisted. Uh, in the 1980s, the United States joined Saddam Hussein in attacking Iran. Iran and Iraq fought an eight-year war in the 1980s. The United States supported Saddam Hussein, supported him even when he used chemical weapons uh, uh, in a, a in an Iranian town, killing 5,000 people. And so this bitterness between the two countries has deep roots, going back to the 1950s, continuing through the 1980s, and continuing right up to the present time. Really, the only exception to that was in recent years when the President Rouhani of Iran and President Obama of the United States negotiated not peace, but a kind of truce in which the two countries reached an agreement about the future of Iran's a uh, civilian nuclear energy program, which people in the United States feared might turn into a nuclear weapons program. The 2015 uh, joint cooperation agreement between the two countries um, really prevented Iran from uh, obtaining a bomb for at least 10 years in return for the end of economic sanctions. President Obama left office, President Trump took his place, and he tore up the agreement. So even that little bit of a kind of a beginning of an understanding, a beginning of a truce between the two countries was ended, and now we are in full-fledged war.